July 1st is a big day in the world of Tennessee politics. It's because most new state laws go into effect July 1st because it's the first day of the fiscal year. And Representative William Lamberth, he's live tweeting about just about all of them. It's become a July 1st tradition of sorts. House Majority Leader William Lamberth tweets out most of the new Tennessee laws going into effect. This year, there are more than 200. Much to the detriment of my phone battery. Don't worry, we don't have time to get into them all. But these are the ones that caught our eye. That needs to be a parent or guardian that's making that decision with a child. Like making it possible to sue someone who takes a minor out of state without parental permission for an abortion or gender affirming care. Our efforts to consistently otherize this particular group of people is, um, is causing a lot of pain in our state. A law that allows DCS to place a child in the custody of an adoptive parent that doesn't agree with the child's gender or sexual identity and requiring law enforcement to report undocumented immigrants to the federal government. Several new laws will strengthen punishments like making a threat of mass violence against a school is now a felony. Drag racing on city streets, also a felony. Attacking a police officer, felony. Cyberbullying is now the same punishment as in-person harassment. And if the Supreme Court ends up reversing precedent, Tennesseans convicted of raping a child could be eligible for the death penalty. Life in prison for these evil people is simply too good. Some new laws have relaxed old punishments. You can now buy a lot more Sudafed in stores because while the meth addiction problem in Tennessee is still concerning, meth production has dropped dramatically. The component parts are made in China, they're shipped to labs in Mexico and they're assembled there and they're shipped into our country. If your car gets booted, the fine is now capped at $75. A properly working AED is now required at every public school, along with staff that knows how to use one. Ready, set, go. And then there's this. Donna Summer actually had a uh, song out about this. Looking for some hot slaw baby this evening. I need some hot slaw baby tonight. <laughs> Officially designating hot slaw, famous in Cleveland, Tennessee, as one of the official state foods. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.